Hello, I'm Congressman Dave Loebsack of Iowa, and I'm sorry I can't be with you in person for your annual conference. I always appreciate the opportunity to speak with you, even if it is by video. First, I would like to thank all the attendees from across the nation for coming to this year's National Biodiesel Board Conference. And to my fellow Iowans, I want to especially thank you for all that you do. As many of you know, 2018 was another record year for Iowa biodiesel producers. In Iowa alone, we produced 365 million gallons of biodiesel this past year. But even as we are producing more and more, the biodiesel tax credit lapsed at the end of the year when Congress failed to take action on a tax extenders package. A seven-year deal on the biodiesel tax credit was included in the tax package that Congress did not pass. We all agree that a long-term deal is necessary to provide critical certainty for folks like you all. I know that is what you demand, and that is what America's farmers are demanding as well. This is where I need your help. I need you to contact your members of Congress who may not know that this tax credit expired. I need you to stand up with me to help pass legislation that supports the biodiesel producers. I'm in this fight with you, but to have the greatest impact, I need your assistance. You can use your voice to tell anyone who will listen that we need to pass this seven-year tax credit. Folks, you know that the RFS works. I know that the RFS works. But we must make sure every decision maker knows that the RFS works. I know I'm preaching to the choir here, but the RFS lowers our dependence on foreign oil, creates jobs, is better for our environment, and lowers the price of gasoline at the pump. As a proud co-founder and current co-chair of the House Biofuels Caucus, I have worked to lead the way in Congress to bolster the use of biodiesel and other biofuels as a source of fuel for the future. I'm going to keep fighting for the RFS, and I look forward to working with you to ensure the EPA knows exactly what it means to Iowans and our economy. All biofuels, from ethanol to biodiesel, are in this together, and we must stand as one voice when the EPA seeks to undermine the RFS with small refinery exemptions and volumes that fail to reflect our potential for biofuel production. Again, thank you for your time and your passion to protect biodiesel and all the good American jobs that come with it. Enjoy the rest of the conference.